vision with Peter Costas. Right now, Peter, Nicky's working on trying to get back onto his right side, and from there he feels like he can go ahead and move down and through the golf ball. Not much lower body movement at all. Good full wrist cock and a very late completion of the shoulder turn. I think that's probably why he's trying to get back onto his right side is his swing thought. From there, however, a wonderful move back through the golf ball. Beautiful working off the right foot coming through the ball. Very solid golf swing for Nick Price. There you see the downward path of the golf club through the ball, even though it was on the tee. And 11 and a half degrees launch angle. He really controlled that shot nicely. Peter Costas, he's got the ball well below his feet. Wide stance so he can stay level coming through it. Right. He's one of the first few people who could even get the ball to the green from this stance. He's got all upper body strength, all hand and arm speed. And it's really well executed because he, he made his mistake. Regular playing companion with his great friend, Ben Hogan. Again, running down the right side of the fairway. Wind from left to right, helping him. And let's have a quick look. Chad is six foot one, and he has very much the similar plane angle as Ben Hogan, who was about five foot eight. Very much a you know, flat plane guy, but look at that, how he hangs onto the angle and then releases it through and then puts it, see, see the rotation of that right arm going over then, and then puts it into that great slot at the finish there, how the left elbow is kind of like the same angle as the right elbow was going back. So that's the way, that's how you feel as if you get in the, in the slot from putting it in a backswing slot. Earlier today, the shot I hit, I hit three shots. I hit one dead in the center of the face, which is this one right here, left on a nice high launch, straight as can be, right down the middle. See the club face kind of turn over. This one I tried to hit right on the toe. Watch the club face open up a little bit, but that went down the middle as well, Nick. I can't believe and, and this that. is my favorite, though. Look what happens when you hit the ball on the heel, and a lot of you feel this. I can't says, believe oh, you. my you goodness. You're a nine-knuckle grip. You couldn't keep the wow. club face I, I couldn't square. hold that off. But that's, uh, you know, that is amazing to me that the ball can react like that, or the club head can react like that. Seven on also for him. Maybe a little more than 20 feet downhill. On a windy day, it can be a real problem from the elevated team. With the Konica Minolta Swing Vision camera, we're going to take a really up close and personal look at VJ's swing with the iron off the 17th tee. We've seen this many times now, a good free-flowing motion. He uses the strength of the core of his body, his ribs, his stomach, his hips, and his shoulders to turn fully away from the golf ball. And then by uncoiling from the lower body first, and then eventually up to the shoulders. That's what creates his power. That's what creates his speed. But we're going to show you something that is really interesting about VJ's golf swing as he gets through impact. We're going to take a close up of his hands on the club. Here he is just prior to impact. Pay attention to the right hand. As he goes through, you're going to see the right hand coming off the club. Look how much the right hand comes off. The left side of his body is swinging through so quickly, the right side can't hardly keep up. Ernie Els, Phil Mickelson, they all do the same thing to, to lesser degrees. It's kind of a quirk of the modern swing that creates so much speed with the body. And you see a marvelous setup, very athletic, certainly you'd expect that. You see he's, he's uh, six foot two, pretty narrow stance for him. As he moves into the backswing here, there's a couple things to take note of. Watch how his left shoulder gets behind the ball. It moves down and across. Beautiful move right here. And as he gets to the top of his swing, look how high his hands are here. And look how beautiful the set of his, club, of his wrists are. It's very youthful, a lot of power there. Look how his left shoulder is right over his right foot. If you want to get better in this game, the closer you get to that move, the better you're going to do. And look how he increases his lag on the downswing. Evidence of proper sequencing. He's letting the swing unfold. He's moving the lower body first. High, high at the top of his backswing, high finish. Oh, yeah! That's the way I like! The strategy and a bit of scare factor, especially if you get a, maybe get a... You 
so noticeable with his swing, how he finished. Paul, take us through his swing. Yeah, well, there's a lot going on here. He has it kind of laid off when it's short of parallel, and it gets so long, it gets past parallel, but his hands are so active and so fast that they catch up. The club head catches up for sure in that incredible body lean, but from this view, it looks so much different. He's so stable. Look, he's already completely turned his hips. His upper body's completely rotated, and now it's all arms and hands and club head. And look how, I mean, his shoulders are still barely moving, but look how much arm movement and club head is going here. Unbelievable, and it takes a tremendous amount of uncocking of the wrists from that position. And you want to talk about releasing it. Look at the club head go. His hands are pulling down. <laughs> it's just an amazing angle he's got right there. That thing drops down similar to what Hogan used to do. His lower body starting to drive. Roy started on his left side of the dress, and you see he will kind of back out of it. Yeah. Look at the release. He's kind of stacked a little bit on his left side at the top of the swing, and then he has to really get right underneath and putting keeps his head so still that gives him the old, the old reverse C, which really went out of fashion uh, mm -hmm. back in the late seventies. Johnny Miller was sort of the end of the reverse C, wasn't he? Really, Mike Reed had it. Uh, a little later than Johnny Miller, but the 12th. Ryan Moore on the tee, and this is Doug Lake to the right. He should like this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is gonna be a lot better than the first go in the playoff. But when you look at his driving stats, it's hard to argue with his mindset. My practice routine is I like to go and play golf. I get into more of a rhythm that way than standing up in the range, hitting ball after ball after ball. I find that unless you're really working on something in the range, then it's good to work in the range. But otherwise, I can go out myself and hit two, three balls off the tee with different clubs, and then you have different irons into the green and it gives you different shots. And I enjoy playing it that way. When it comes to one of the game's best proponents of getting the ball from the tee onto those tricky putting greens, when Simon Yates offers some swing thoughts, it's time to listen up. I think rhythm is a very important thing in golf. Rhythm, just think of a nice tempo when you're playing. It's an easy thing to think of. You don't need to think of where to set the club going back and where your club is at the top. Just think of a good rhythm, I'm sure that will help. One with three metal, just trying to take that bunk on the right, out of play, get it in the fairway, starts down the right-hand side. Stuart Appleby off the 10th tee yesterday with a fairway wood. A magnificent, solid setup position, well balanced. But the key, in my opinion, to his golf swing is when he gets to the top, a full shoulder turn away, and then he has beautiful downswing, he has beautiful unwinding of the body, and he times them together perfectly. There's no independent swinging of the arms. There's no wild twisting of the body. As he rotates his body, he keeps his arms in front of his body through the ball. And it makes for a very simple, very repeatable golf swing. A close-up of impact, and you can see how level his fairway wood comes through impact. Very good when you're trying to get the ball down the fairway in play. Good, solid golf swing. Jack Nicklaus now. Jack's going to hit a one-iron. 